Hello and welcome back to another video from Provail Tech. Today we're hopping into DataRMM and we're going to be talking about best practices for patch management. If it's been a while since you've been in uh, DataRMM or in patch management in particular, uh, when we go in here and hop in here, we're going to go and create a policy. And in particular, one of the things I wanted to mention was, uh, you know, if you have not been in here in some time, starting around October of 2016, Microsoft kind of changed the ways that uh, the updates kind of taking place now. So if you haven't seen it uh, right now, there are essentially three kind of core rollups. The one that we probably aren't going to focus too much on here is going to be the WSUS which is a security only update the other two that we're going to take a look at though here are going to be the monthly update which is the security monthly quality update and then potentially the preview roll-up which is the preview of the monthly quality update but if we go ahead and take a look here we're going to move on to our patching strategy um, and so since Microsoft no longer updates with individual KB numbers, uh, these monthly roll-ups kind of replace them all. And this includes the security and non-security fixes from the month and all previous months. And future patches are meant to supersede previous patches. So if we go ahead and look here at the patch management policy rules, a couple of things we want to take into consideration as we're applying these within data wire So if we look here, we want to go ahead and decide on a schedule. Decide on a schedule and reboot strategy that suits your customers' requirements. You want to identify servers that cannot be automatically rebooted, and you want to log a reboot ticket for a manual restart. This can be monitored using the reboot required monitor from the Datacom store. And then after that, you want to go ahead and improve only patches that contain criteria that cover the patches required in the title, such as roll-up or security. Uh, you want to deny any patches that include the word preview. Go ahead and remove any individual approval rules based on severity, classification, KB number, so forth. They are no longer applicable. And then you want to go ahead and identify KBs that should be installed for various customers' possible third-party software. After that, you probably want to go ahead and create one policy for desktops and one for servers at the account level, and if needed, implement overrides at the site level. You want to keep this simple by targeting operating systems for policies. If further granularity is needed, enter the word patch in one of the user-defined fields and target a policy by filtering on this word. And that gets, concludes the data patching policy best practices. If you have any questions or additional concerns, go ahead and contact us on our webpage here, on our YouTube channel. Go ahead and subscribe, like, and comment, and we will uh, catch you back on the next one. Thanks, guys.